Hello, it's Linda here, um, and today I'm really excited to be sharing this new project of mine with you. Um, I haven't seen one of these before, but that doesn't mean that it's not out there somewhere, because some people are messing around and redesigning boxes every day of the week. So um, if it's already out there, um, maybe you've got a better name for it than I have, because I didn't really know what to call this, and I'm thinking, I'm only thinking, mind, I might change my mind by the time I actually post it to my blog, but I'm calling this a little birdhouse box, because the shape of it really does put me in mind of a little birdhouse. Um, I'm absolutely delighted with the way it's turned out. It opens on top here. Um, it's made from designer series paper which is it's fairly thick this paper and it's a new bundle of papers which is in the new annual Stampin' Up! catalogue. I'm just going to open it up here and just show you the inside. So you can see it's quite a reasonable capacity. It's not um, like a heavy duty design because it's made from paper it, I think it's intended really for something nice and lightweight so maybe if you've got a few chockies you want to gift maybe some jewellery bits of cosmetics something like that but certainly nothing very weighty but it just makes a really really pretty package you know a nice way to gift something to somebody so I'm really thrilled with how this turned out I'm just going to run the papers past you so this is get rid of the cardboard. <laughs> this is a new collection of papers. I'm reading off the packet here and it's called the Bundle of Love Speciality Designer Series Papers. So you can see it's got this beautiful gold foiling on the reverse of the designs. So we've got Blushing Bride here and then we've got um, Soft Sky. It's saying Soft Sky but it actually looks, <laughs> it actually looks more like um, Oh, it looks a bit more like pool party to me, but anyway, I'm going to have to go and check that. Um, but we've got, like I said, this beautiful gold foiling on the reverse. See, so you've really got a lovely selection of um, papers there to choose from. And they're all um, printed on very vanilla um, cardstock or paper. So I just thought I'd run those past you because I think they're really lovely. Um, anyway, they're what I've chosen to use today for my project. Um, I didn't really want to work with card. I have tried card for this box and it wasn't as successful as working with this paper, which is actually quite a nice weight. So anyway, enough waffling from me. I'm going to put these to one side and I'm going to run, you par uh, run past you how you can put one of these lovely boxes together. So thanks very much for joining me today. Okay, so for this little box you need a piece of um, paper or cardstock which measures seven inches by nine and a half and with the nine and a half length here across the top of your scoreboard you're going to make your first score at one and a half inches then you're going to score at three at four and a half at six and at seven and a half and at nine and then you're going to turn your cardstock and on the short side you're going to score at one and a half inches four and a half inches oops uh, five inches And at five and a half inches. Okay, so you're going to flip your cardstock back round. So you've got this um, narrow um, border here to your to your right. And so now what you're going to do is you're going to make a few notches. Okay, so I'm finding it a little bit difficult to actually see this. So rather than notching, I'm just going to mark with a pencil. Or a pen. <laughs> right, okay, so I want to notch here at three quarters of an inch. So you may be notching, you might be marking with a pencil. And then you're going to go to two and a quarter inches. Then you're going to go to three and three quarters. And then at five and a quarter. At six and three quarters 
and at eight and a quarter. Okay, so I can just about see those. It's going to dispense with my my scoreboard. And there you go, that's where my pencil was hiding. Okay, I'm just going to quickly go back in with that, just so I can definitely see where I'm supposed to be scoring in a minute. It's really rather difficult on this lovely paper. Okay, so now you're going to need a steel rule, or something very similar. And grabbing the stylus again, you're just going to do some scoring up to these notches that we made. So I'm just going from this corner here up to my notch and then back down. And you want to do that all the way along. Okay, so that's my notching done, and it's at this point now I'm going to grab myself this little handheld punch. So this is the one eighth of an inch handheld punch. Uh, what you want to do now is you want to make a series of punch punches. So this little triangle here, I'm just going to come down and go in the middle there, like that. Okay, and then you want to do the same thing in each of these half triangles if you like so there's your full triangle so we've got these two little half triangles so we're just going to go all the way along punching really having trouble seeing here but there we go Okay, so your holes should be like looking like that, and if you look on the reverse, you've got this little panel here, okay, which we haven't punched. Well, what you're going to do there is take some scissors, and you're just going to cut out quite a big wedge there, like that, okay. And I'm just going to, before we do any more cutting, I'm going to just um, go around now and burnish my score lines. And you're going to do this very gently, because you don't want the paper to crack. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. So, when we get to these three score lines here, what you want to do, I've just got to make sure I do this correctly now and to tell you the right way. If we turn over, you can see we've got three lines there. Okay, so we're going to go for the middle one first and we're going to fold it out this way and then lightly burnish. Okay, and then we're going to fold the other two the other way. very very lightly so what you've got then is your paper should look like that okay so you've got it's folded like that and then you can just go around now and burnish all the others I'm really having trouble seeing my score lines here But you will notice I'm only burnishing really, really lightly. This is super pretty paper and I just, I don't want it to crack. I 
Okay, so that's that. And now we're just going to do a little bit of cutting before I bring in the envelope punch board. It's so just going to start by taking this narrow little section here, cutting that away. Okay, and then you're just going to snip down these score lines here at the bottom like this. Okay, so there, it's all looking like that now. Okay, we can look at just um, gently folding in on the score lines that we've made across the top here so that we can see our triangles taking shape like that. You can sort of just feel it yield as you put pressure on. So there's lots of folding, lots of scoring, but it's worth it because it's just such a pretty little box. Okay, so it now looks like that. So turning it back round this way and folding it there at that middle, that middle one there in between these two either side. You're going to fold it like that and bring in the envelope punch board. Okay, so just going to pop my board here and I am going to be lining up each of these vertical score lines here with the centre of the nozzle there okay and then just punching so each of our vertical lines go central to the nozzle it does require a certain amount of brute force And you're going to finish up by punching half of this one out. So, so you've matched up in the centre of that um, nozzle there. Okay, so your template should now look like that. Okay, and uh, what I'm going to do here take my scissors I'm just going to cut out these little bits here so so that it now looks like that okay and then I'm just going to take turn it back round now for this I have found that the the best um, double sided tape to use along here is got it's got to be really nice and thin so I always use sticks too for my boxes anyway I think it's a really brilliant double sided tape um, this is the thinnest one I believe they do and it's about three millimeters wide okay and I'm simply now running this along that score line there and it's just about sitting beneath these punched out holes okay you want to go all the way along like that okay and then there's my peep piercer just going to oh just gonna pull that away and just fold this now press it and then just turn it over and push it out like that. Okay, so your template is now looking like this. And then I found at this point here, it's a good idea to grab a pair of scissors and to just follow 
up there like that and just cut out like it's like a tiny tiny triangle okay and this actually is quite important because if you don't do this um, you will find that your box might start to rip when you actually start sticking it all together okay so you're just going to go up to each of these points here and cut out like a tiny little triangle a little bit tricky in the light here see they're minuscule <laughs> but it's um it is actually quite an important part of the process of making this box okay so there we go that's that's now how it should all be looking and then we can finally get round to putting some double sided tape and in fact I'm not going to put it there I'm actually going to run it down here so and for that I'm going to use my wider one I think I believe this one is six millimeters wide by sticks too I buy mine from Hobbycraft Okay, and then we're just going to bring this across now and be very careful how we um, line it all up here at the top and down the side. Just try and get it nice and accurate, like so. Okay, and now we're going to look at just um, meeting up the bottom. So we've got the back here. There was me telling you to be really nice and accurate and come way out. <laughs> Oh dear, oh, I don't know. Anyway, it's going to have to do. Hopefully you're going to be a lot more accurate than me. Okay, so now what you want to do is fold over like this. Now I'm only going to stick the very first bit of tape on, very lightly. I'm not going to press down very hard. I just want to make sure that I have got going to get like a really good sort of hexagon shape at the bottom of my um, box which is really going to determine how well the box looks when it's finished. Oh. Grab the paper piercer again. It is so hot here today. My poor little dog and I are absolutely beside ourselves. We're so hot. And I think the tape, the double-sided tape is like extra sticky. It's all gone a bit gummy. I don't know. Maybe it does get affected by the heat. Right, so not too happy with that just gonna fiddle with it see the thing is what we want to do is make sure when these will come across that they meet each other sort of straight on so if I do that that's better you see what I mean those two are nice and straight now I'm quite happy with that so I'm just gonna firmly press that down and then it's gonna take some tape Pop a bit on the bottom of this one. Grab my paper piercer again because this is just not coming away too easily today. It's so hot. This definitely has an effect on this um on the tape. I need a fan in here. Thing is, I've left my fan on in the front room for the dog, and the dog's now followed me out here. So that's down like that. And then I'm going to bring these two across like this, so I can barely concentrate, I'm so hot. OK, 
okay so that's coming across there and that's that fond so there you go you can see it's quite a nice capacity for a little box so I'm going to determine now where the back of my box is and it's there okay and so I'm going to take some um, ribbon now and I'm using this gold one eighth of an inch ribbon here we go okay and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in through the front here so I'm going to start off going here like that and then just going to thread this through each of these holes in turn okay just going in and out and all the way around oh. Okay. So you start off like that, we've got this bit at the front and I'm literally going to go around now all the way till I come out at this point here. Okay so I've gone round, done mine, just going to take my scissors now and snip. Okay and then we're just going to draw this together so it forms like a little star on the top. Okie dokie, just had to let the old boy out. He's blind and he's deaf, he can't see where he's going, so I'm like his little um, guide person. Okay, so just going to tie a little bow here. There you go, how diddy is that? Isn't that lovely? I am so thrilled with this box, I can't even begin to tell you. But I did have trouble coming up with a name for it, because it's such an unusual shape, really. But I decided to call it my little birdhouse box, because I do think it looks a bit like a little birdhouse. Um, so I'm ready to apply some um, decoration now to it. To decorate it, I've decided I'm going to use this stamp set here because I like the sentiments in it. Okay, um, I chose to use You Are Just Lovely. I thought that was really nice. Okay, so this is a really nice bundle. Um, it comes with, or, well, you can purchase um, to coordinate with it, this set here called Eclectic Layers. Okay, and so from this bundle, or this, this particular um, set, which, I don't know why I put it in here, back in here really, should have thrown this away, but I can show you that I've chosen to cut myself a pretty little leaf, or die cutter leaf, so um, I've gone with this one here, okay, and I cut this out. Okay, so I'm going to use this to decorate my box. So, um, and I decided that I wanted to cut out um, a circle. So I've used here my layering circle framelits dies. Okay, and all I'm going to do, um, having stamped up, having stamped up my um, sentiment here, you can see like I've gold gold heat embossed it so I'm going to take this smaller circle I'm going to run that through my die cutter and then I'm going to also cut out a gold circle using the slightly larger scalloped circle all right then so I've run that through my those through my big shots and I'm just going to grab my snail which is here And I'm just going to mount that on there like this. And I'm going to take some dimensionals and pop those on the back here. Okay. Yeah, 
and take that. So I'm stuck that on the back as well, so I'm going to put another dimensional on here. Okay, and that just makes like a nice little label. And I'm going to stick that here on the front so that it's in line with the bow here. And there you have it. That's my little birdhouse box. Now I just am so delighted with this. I do hope you like it as well. I love the way this just forms. It's kind of if it's not a birdhouse, it it's almost it reminds me of like a carousel. So I just think it's a really lovely shape um, and it's a box that I'm really delighted with. So that's it from me today. I do hope that you have enjoyed today's tutorial. Um, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I would absolutely love you to do so. Um, and also, if you've not subscribed to my blog, then you're very welcome to pop over there and have a look at www.papercraftwithcrafty.co.uk. Um, I post all of my projects there. And also um, there's a table or a list of all the products that I use for each project. Um, and if you don't have them and if you would like them, I do have a shop there where you can shop with me also. So thank you very much, like I say, for joining me today. Um, it's been a pleasure presenting this lovely box to you. And I do hope to have another project for you very shortly. So thanks and bye for now.